magazine has begun the new year with a new look. In fact, it's the magazine's first complete makeover in a decade. You can spot it on the newsstand by looking for what should be a familiar face on the cover. PNC Financial Services CEO Jim Rohr, who is, of course, a sponsor of our region's business and also Pittsburgh of the Year. Betsy Benson is publisher and vice president of Pittsburgh Magazine. Welcome back. Good to see you. Great to see you, Bill. All right. A, a makeover for the magazine. What, what's behind that? Well, you know, we haven't been redesigned really from top to bottom in, like you said, over 10 years because it's a lot of work. <laughs> um, we started back in June just taking stock of um, our city, first and foremost, and how it's changed, and also our magazine, the pages of our magazine, and how we order that content. Julie Tallarico, together with our, uh, our art director, Chuck Beard, really kind of put everything in a new priority list and really looked at the look and feel of the magazine, trying to open up the pages, open up those departments, um, creating additional ways for people to engage with, um, with our city. Well, think about the city 10 years ago and the city today. How, do, how did you find it's changed? What, what's making it a different kind of place? Well, right now, I mean, we are a buzz city nationally. Um, I talked to someone just last week who moved here from Seattle to saying that he wants to live in the next Seattle. He, he wants to live in a city on the rise as opposed to on the decline. So as a buzz city, we need to have a city magazine that reflects that. Um, and it, uh, more of a sophistication, um, a mo more of um, some subtleties, some, um, you know, really uh, lots of levels of depth uh, and coverage. So we really decided that our city deserved something that was uh, more reflective of the changes toward a more broad-based economy, more broad-based population, and a really a city on the move. And have you found that your readership too has changed as, as the community has changed? It, it's changed a lot over the years. It's, it's gotten younger, more vibrant. Uh, we have a lot of online visitors who are then buying the subscription of the magazine online. Mm. So we have you know, the WQED member readers, and then we have this new, younger, more dynamic set of, of readers who are kind of demonstrating their love for this city through a subscription to their city magazine. Mm -hmm. You mentioned WQED. It used to be part of WQED Multimedia. That's what, right. Three years ago. Now, Almost right? three years yeah. ago, right? We were, we were acquired by a publishing company, which really allowed... Pittsburgh Magazine to be first and foremost a city magazine, not an appendage of a public TV station, but really an independent magazine that every day is trying to serve its readers better mm -hmm. and trying to be the best city magazine in the country that we can be. And it has a changed kind of your thrust in editorial beyond just the look and feel of the magazine, having a different type of ownership, that different focus? No, the ownership really has nothing to do with our content. Oh. Our content is dictated by what our editors and what you know we think reflects our city the most, uh, the best. You know, we are on the ground deciding what the best stories and the best coverage is for Pittsburgh Magazine, based on what our readers want. Hmm. Yeah, think about Pittsburgh ten years ago and today. Uh, uh, one of the rationales for putting Jim Rohr on the cover. Oh well, I mean, you can't really argue with it. I mean, Jim Rohr is not just a community leader and a corporate leader, but really an example of someone who has invested in this region and has made sure that PNC has stayed headquartered in Pittsburgh and has thrived here. They're not just one of the largest employers, but they contribute to our economy in a multitude of ways. I mean, I think you know most people know Jim. Um, as somebody who's you know a great family man, married 40 years you know to Sharon, um, involved in a million you know different causes, um, but he has really made sure that that company, even though it's uh, a national company uh, with global reach, making sure that it's Pittsburgh first. And I think we all get the benefit of that. Well, and it's interesting, Pittsburgh of the Year is actually not a Pittsburgher by birth, right? That's He's right. from of all places, Cleveland. I yeah. know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a shocking footnote in his <laughs> resume, uh, but he certainly has uh, taken ownership of this, this, uh, this town. And it makes a nice kind of uh, a, a nice story that a Clevelander can become a Pittsburgher of the Year if they try hard enough. Well, and it speaks a little bit to the evolution of what's happening around us. You mentioned the person from Seattle. We're beginning to see people after, what, 30 years or, or more moving into the region and then putting down roots here. And we were creating opportunities for those people. And we think the magazine spotlights some of those magazines, some of those opportunities that they have when they're coming here. So, so what's ahead this year? What kind of issues or our opportunities or whatever you're looking at? What, what are we going to see in the pages of the magazine? In well, we have kind of our favorite issues, you know, our best doctor 
Doctors in May, a uh, very popular newsstand issue where we spotlight all the best in our uh, excellent medical care that we have here in Pittsburgh. We also have the best restaurants issue in June, and that comes with the big party at Heinz Field on June 4th, where you get to sample the best food from the best restaurants all in one night. Um, but we have some of our favorites. The redesign uh, kind of opens up the possibilities and makes us um, more reader friendly, but our best topics will be, will continue to do, um, and on top of that, explore all kinds of, of new things. As they unfold in our, our community, we'll be covering them. Well, a last question, only a few seconds left, but I, I, I gotta ask you, I, I, I read such horror stories across the country about uh, advertising sales in the magazine business. It got a great new look, great magazine. Is it a good business? It is a good business, although it's been not a great business for a few years with the media recession, the recession in general. Um, but we've seen a really, we've had a really great year this year, 2011, and 2012 is trending way ahead. So we feel that you know, national magazines and newspapers, of course, are struggling. Um, regional city magazines like Pittsburgh Magazine are not doing so poorly. And in fact, Pittsburgh Magazine is looking at a really nice, uh, nice momentum and a nice resurgence. Very good. We'll look for a copy. Jim Roar on the cover, at least for a little while longer. Uh, Betsy Benson, publisher of Pittsburgh Magazine. Thanks, Thanks so Bill. much. Appreciate it. And when we return, labor and management team up to put some muscle behind the care and treatment of people with muscular dystrophy. Stay with us.